different team than the one that met them to start the season? For sure. Yeah, we're, we're a much different team. Um, guys in different spots. Um, you know, guys are at a different point um, in the season from a standpoint of uh, sharpness and confidence. And um, I, I think we're a much better team than when we played them in the first game of the season. Scouting them, have they changed up much since uh, the beginning? Uh, a little bit, um, not a not a ton personnel wise, uh, but again, you know, the journey brings you to this point, and I think they would probably say that the journey has helped them grow and develop as well, and and I would likely say they're probably a better team than when we played them in the beginning as well. Um, but uh, you know, again, in regards to us, I, I think we're in a really good spot right now. We're playing the best soccer we have all season. And uh, it's a really good time to be doing that. Do you feel like you guys have maybe a mental edge after beating them twice? And, you know, what's, what's that? Well, I think we match up well against them. You know, and I think, um, I don't know if there's a mental edge there or, or, you know, just the way we match up and the way we play. Um, you know, I think that um, it, it's a good matchup for us. And we, you know, we welcome them coming in. Um, but they're, again, they're going to be a good opponent. Um, a good team, and obviously anybody left in the Elite, elite Eight is uh, is going to be a, a tough one. Uh, yeah. This matchup, how so? Can you kind of elaborate on that? Well, I, I think they, they like to play. You know, they like to keep the ball. They like to possess it. Um, you know, and, and from that standpoint, um, it's very similar to, to what we do. We're a very similar type team, um, so we're very familiar with it. Um, you know, probably the toughest game, one of the toughest games we had all year was Bradley. Um, Bradley was a much different team than anybody we've seen or played all year. Um, and it doesn't mean that UCLA is not going to be a tough opponent, but uh, I think more familiar is what it is. You're not going to try to bring in snow? It, it, you know, our, our players wouldn't want it, you know, <laughs> as well. Um, I, I think they would rather play on a, on a field with good conditions and good weather. And, uh, I, you know, I think the, the snow games, we had one in Villanova this year and UCLA last year, and I think it what it is is a testament to our guys to persevere and keep going and, and not let the elements distract them. Um, and I think our guys are, have been tremendous this year in that way that um, regardless of the environment or the situation, they stay focused, um, intentful, and uh, purposeful for what we do. And um, whether or opponent, um, location, I, I know these guys are very focused. Given that, does, does it still help to have it at home? Tremendously, because we're gonna, you know, we're gonna have a few thousand, four, five, six thousand fans. We're gonna have a lot of people out there, and um, I'm a big believer in, in energy, um, in the spirit of it. And um, you know, I, I've seen a lot of uh, a lot of events here, sporting events here at, at Louisville, and I uh, continue to be amazed at how uh, the crowd. Uh, wills uh, results and uh, the spirit of this city and the people that support U of L athletics at events is um, is tremendous, and um, we expect that to be the case again on Saturday. Speaking of will, it seems like you guys have kind of you know had a lot of resolve in terms of making comebacks throughout the season. How, how do you feel that that? How was that? Even I think it's the character of the team, um, you know, that we have a team that uh, is willing to, uh, first of all, work hard, you know, and, and put in the effort. And uh, that's, that's a big part of persevering is you, you have to put in the effort. But the effort comes because of belief. Um, if you don't have belief in, uh, in what you're doing and, and belief in, in the outcome that's, that's coming, you'll never do the work. Um, and I think those two things coupled uh, make us a team that is, is uh, one that perseveres and has moved on. And, and there's times where we've done the work and haven't necessarily gotten the result, but uh, it, they haven't quit. Um, they've kept the focus, kept the vision, 